At the time I was 12 years old, it was very inspiring because it was really the first time that anything national had been made clear about the civil rights movement. I remember being a little girl and my grandparents talking to me about Dr. King's speech and how it touched them and at that point in history it actually touched the consciousness of America. Yo recuerdo mucho a mis padres contándonos a todos sus hijos la importancia de, de Luther King en, en, en la historia, en los derechos civiles y sobre todo en la igualdad. The words in the I Have a Dream speech are so inspirational and so moving and he became a sort of hero of mine. I think for me, growing up in the United States, um, for coming from a family of immigrants, uh, my parents always told me, when you grow up, you can become president. And it never occurred to me that I might do that. And for me, I, I really feel like I've been living so much of this American dream. Um, and I think that's only been possible, really, because Martin Luther King Jr. has made such a, a significant impact. I remember that it impacted us a lot, a story that they told us de un escritor negro que decía que lo peor era ser invisible, que casi prefería que, que lo miraran mal antes de ser invisible. He's a milestone, you know, in the, in the whole civil rights um, struggle in the United States. I think it, he just really made an impact on me, his life and his, his dream, and it still does. Es un personaje que, que a todos los que hemos nacido en el siglo XX nos, nos ha marcado y nos seguirá marcando. We realize uh, how much he sacrificed for uh, bringing equality to the United States among races. And as a result of that, we are, have moved so far ahead. And, and today, as we remember his words, I hope that all Americans will take them to heart and think about how we can be better citizens of the world. Que todos los hombres, y todos los hombres y mujeres somos iguales, es algo que se va grabando en tu vida. Y para mí, Martin Luther King fue uno de los de los hitos en este camino de reconocimiento de la igualdad. So I celebrate the 50th anniversary and I celebrate the legacy of Martin Luther King.